Welcome to video number seven in this series of uh, tutorials on how to use the Logos Bible software to study the Sabbath school lesson this second quarter of 2015 on the Gospel of Luke. After a couple of longer videos the last few weeks, uh, I plan to have a shorter one this week. I want to mostly show you how to make uh, passage lists in Logos so you can study Bible texts um, when you're also away from the computer and um, show some how to make some visual filters when you are doing searches. So here are some quick tips. By the way, the, the front page of your Logos software can be uh, customized. So you can have whatever news you want here on the front page. Just click on the customize uh, icon at the top right hand corner. If you choose to include the Logos Bible software blog, for instance, the Faith Life blog and so on, you can choose what you want here. This is the sidebar that goes here on the left. And then the content. These are what kind of articles you want on your on the main page. Logos has started to make a lot more video tutorials and other kinds of videos lately. So make sure that you have these showing up on your Logos page, the home page of your program. For instance, right now there is, um, when I recorded this, there was a uh, article about how to get the most out of commentaries in Logos and you click on it and you go to an article and a video. So make sure you get all these news from Logos on your homepage. How to make a passage list in Logos. That is a feature that we haven't talked about before and I'd like to show it to you because it can be quite useful when you are studying the Sabbath school lesson, not just this week, but any kind of uh, lesson in the future. Documents, go to the documents menu here you have a long list of different kinds of documents that you can make in um, Logos. Next week I'm going to talk to you about how to make notes. This Today I want to show you how to make passage lists. So if you find passage list here in the menu, so left hand side, how to make a new document, click on passage list. A passage list is, is, is exactly what it sounds like. It's a list of Bible passages. Let's go ahead and give it a name. We can, for instance, call it uh, Sabbath School, second quarter, 2015, week seven, on Holy, six, seven, Holy Spirit and Prayer. You can call passage list whatever you want, or just Holy Spirit and Prayer, whatever you want to call it. If you don't want to have reference to Sabbath school, call it Holy Week, Holy Spirit and Prayer, whatever you want. The names is just so that it's easier for you to find it later. When you go to Documents, here on the right hand side you will ha have all your previously created documents like passage lists, word lists, notes and so on. Today we're talking about passage lists. So You choose what kind of Bible you want here. You can have um, any kind of any kind of Bible, your your preferred Bible will show up as default. In my case, my preferred Bible is the ESV. It is a fairly literal translation. So it's good if you want to dig into um, the literal meaning of, um, of the Bible. You know, some translations are more dynamic. They translate more phrase by phrase, more the, the meaning in contemporary English. And that's good for... If you want to just read longer passages, read maybe a whole book in the Bible, because it's easier to understand. But if you want to dig into the passage more word for word, a more literal translation like King James or English Standard Version, Revised Standard Version is a good choice. So here you choose your Bible and then you just in the reference box, you just type in the passages. In this case, I've just opened the Sabbath School lesson to lesson seven, and it says read for this week's study. And let's just type in the different passages they want us to study this week. Um, the first three verses of Luke 2 are probably the most important, 25 to 27. You just do enter. Luke, what's the next? You can jump John's Drop John 16, maybe Luke 23, 46. Um, Luke 11 is important. Uh, the Lord's Prayer. Matthew 7, 
21 to 23 is an important one. Luke 11, 9 to 13. I'm just typing this in from um, the very beginning of the Sabbath school lesson for lesson 7. Uh, later on in the message on Thursday, we also have a text in Luke 18, 9 to 14. So you just type it in and then here you have a long list of passages. Now, what's the po point or the purpose of typing in passages in a passage list in Logos? Well, there are several benefits of it. One of them is if you click on the icon for this passage list, you can print it to your printer and then you can take it with you throughout the week. So if you are when you are sitting on the bus on the way to work or sitting in front of the television, watching the news or throughout the day in the lunch break, you can take a look at this list and meditate on scripture. So uh, sometimes it's easier to have a piece of paper with you instead of bringing a whole Bible. And if you want to have this week's passages with you so you can meditate and think and ponder about the passages, this is one way to do it. So make a passage list of the texts that you want and you can just print them out by going to print or export. You can also export it as a Word document or web page or whatever you want. So that's one important uh, point, purpose of making a passage list. You can print it out or export it and, and take it with you. Another thing you can do is if you see here you have the list function and then you have the memorize function if you click on memorize maybe some of the verses would be useful to try to memorize right if we go to the lord's prayer maybe you want to memorize some of the lord's prayer well that's an easy one we probably have have memorized that already but you find you find here a, a verse you want to memorize and then you you memorize it. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but the one who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. When you think you memorize that verse, click on start practice. And some of the words will be deleted. And you can see if you remember them. Not everyone who says to me, what's the missing word? Lord. <laughs> but the one who what? Does the will of my Father who is in heaven. So you can use this um, passage list to memorize important uh, verses in the Bible. So if you come to Sabbath school and you have memorized some of the passages for this week, that, that will be very useful. So that's another useful uh, purpose of making a passage list. So that was just a quick tip, making passage lists for printing out or for memorizing. So you can make passage lists manually just by typing in passages. Another way of making a passage list is if you're searching for something in the Bible, you can make a passage list out of the search results. For instance, this week's topic is the Holy Spirit. So in case we want to search for all the times the Holy Spirit is used in um, Luke, we can easily do that. Um, if you go to the first instance in Luke, Luke 1.15, here we have the Holy Spirit. If you right click on the word Holy Spirit, it will show up as Holy Spirit person in the right hand menu. You know, it gives you a, a different options here. You can search for every time the Greek word for spirit, pneuma, is used and so on. But now we want to search for every time the person is used, the Holy Spirit. So somebody has been going through the entire Bible and have tagged every time each person is used. So if the Holy Spirit is referred to in the Bible text, but maybe with another word, maybe the Spirit or something else. It doesn't have to be the phrase Holy Spirit, but whenever this person, the third person of the Trinity, is referred to, we want to know it. So click on Holy Spirit person and then in the left hand side, click on search this resource. Now you will get a list of all the times the Holy Spirit is used in the Bible. If you want to limit it to just the Gospel of Luke, instead of uh, having all passages, you can um, you can type in a new range. You see that I have Luke up here already because I've earlier searched for just the Gospel of Luke. Let me just take those away. 
this is what it will look like in your in your logos if you haven't done any specific searches before for specific books so you can type in here new reference range you can type in Luke and click save and now it's searching for the person of the Holy Spirit only in the Gospel of Luke or if you want to search it for Luke comma Acts because that's the same author Luke wrote both the Gospel of Luke and Luke and Acts so it's the same author if you want everywhere in those two volumes that Luke wrote you can have the search for the Holy Spirit in Luke and Acts um, the Holy Spirit is an important topic both in Luke and in Acts um, some people call it um, instead of the Acts of the Apostles maybe we should call it the Acts of the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit is a very active person in Luke's second volume on early church history all right so now that we have um, made a passage list now another made a uh, search for Holy Spirit let's just maybe stick to Luke now we can print it or export it just like we did with the passage list we can print it out and take it with us throughout the day all the times Luke has mentioned the Holy Spirit so you can print it out something else you can do if you click the, the icon here is to save as passage list all right so that's another way of making a passage list instead of typing in passages manually you can export it from a search and so we can call it now holy spirit in luke all right so here we have a list and we can again print it out if you want to or we can start memorizing these passages about the holy spirit in luke all right now we have a passage list created not by typing in manually but created by a search um, prayer is also a topic in this week's lesson so in luke 1 10 we have the word praying um, if you right click on the word praying you find the greek word here prosuchomai if you want to search for all the times the greek word prosuchomai is used you select lemma prosuchomai to pray and search this resource now you have it okay let's limit it again to look so 19 times the verb for praying prosuchomai which is the most common word is used um, now we can um, print it out and take with us throughout the week all the times the word for praying is used or we can export it as a passage list just like we did with the Holy Spirit it's not useful we can give it a proper name um, so prayer in Luke this was based on the Greek word prosuchomai if you want to just stick with the uh, English you can also search by going to the search icon make sure you select Bible because you want to search for a word in the Bible and if you type pray with uh, a star afterwards then you will get all the words that include the letters P R A Y like pray to pray prayer and so on so you can get both nouns praying and both nouns and verbs here right so these were 28 times in Luke that we have a word beginning with pray we can export it as a passage list and there we have it we can take with us on a piece of paper or we can memorize some of the verbs uh, so to make a passage list is a useful way of digging into the Word of God something else that we can do with a search we can also all right let's go back to this pray in Luke 28 times we can also in addition to um, ex printing it or exporting it as a passage list we can also save it as a visual filter that's quite cool I, I just want to show you how that works so what I did was open the search um, function make sure we are in Bible search all Bible text in Luke so instead of having the whole Bible we have typed in Luke in the reference range and whatever Bible you prefer pray star 
So you get words like praying, prayer, prayer, pray, and so on. If we now make a visual filter, what that means is that when you are reading your Bible, if you want some kind of special highlighting or formatting, every time the word prayer or prayed, then you can you can see it. You can choose any kind of color or highlighting, anything that makes it fancy. Maybe on maybe this uh, yellow, orange on fire formatting sounds cool. All right, we, we give the visual filter a name. Um, pray here in Luke. Um, okay, I, I had that as a <laughs> visual filter before. I've done this before with my students. Prayer in what well, we can call it since pray and prayer in Luke. All right, so just give the visual filter name, and give it whatever name you want. It's just so that when you come to documents later, you can find it here as a visual filter and you can delete it if you want. Um, now, what's going to happen is when we open the just let me just delete this. When I now go to my Bible, English Standard Version, whenever the word pray or prayer is used, it will show up as this fancy yellow orange uh, <laughs> highlighting because that's the color we selected. Isn't that cool? So now when you're reading your Bible, you get this flash in your face every time somebody is doing some praying. That was called the visual filter. We exported a search result as a visual filter and now it shows up in my Bible. How do I get rid of this again? We can either go to documents and just delete the visual filter so you never have it again, or you can simply hide it if you want it sometimes, but you want to turn it on and off at will. You have this icon in the Bible with three uh, circles. Click on that, and now, and um, visual filters at the bottom, you have your newly created visual filter. You can turn that on and off. Pray and prayer in Luke. If you want it, keep it on. If you want to remove it, you can just remove it. So this was just the quick tips how to make passage lists, how to search, and how to make visual filters in the Bible to help you dig into the Word of God in preparation for Sabbath school lesson. See you again next week. My name was Raymar Vetner.